Last night, we led this newscast with the news that Travis Roy had died from complications from surgery connected to his paralysis. News of his passing came to us so late, we didn't have a chance to properly convey what Travis meant to so many people and how much he would be missed. Tonight, we hope to do just that. Here's News Center Maine's Sam Rogers. 25 years ago, one shift changed a life. People forget what a what a great hockey player he was. Uh, he he would have been, in my opinion, one of the best players ever to come out of the state of Maine. Maine native Travis Roy making his college hockey debut at Boston University. His career there lasted 11 seconds. Dale Arnold remembers that very short time very well. Got my Boston Herald out of, of the newspaper box and the entire front page of the Herald was a headshot of Travis. And I just, my heart sank. After finishing a routine check, Roy crashed into the boards, cracking his fourth vertebrae, leaving him a quadriplegic. Roy's reputation transcended sport. What Travis always meant to me was, was hope. Uh, you know, he was, he was a beacon of hope. A beacon of hope for the local and national hockey community, passing away Thursday at the age of 45. It was a gut punch when I got the news last night. Man, it was a rough night around here. I'm not going to lie to you. Those who knew him best reflecting on the life of Travis Roy. Who took uh, a devastating injury, uh, the darkest moment in, in his life, and turned it into a life's calling, a, a mission to help other people go through the same thing. A remarkable, inspirational person. Inspiring and touching so many inside the hockey world you know, and out. The team uh, pass along our condolences to... Um, Travis Roy's family. I heard Travis say once that he spent the first 20 years of his life with passion. He spent the last 20 years of his life with purpose. A purpose of helping others in similar situations. The Travis Roy Foundation aiding spinal cord injury survivors live more adaptive lives with support from the hockey community. Uh, they were drawn to his story. They were drawn to his personality. They were drawn to his positiveness. And even guys who didn't know him, like Wayne Gretzky, wanted to help him. Dale Arnold Boston. knew Roy since his time working with the Maine Mariners, a friendship lasting 40 years. I think of Lee Roy, I think of Brenda Roy, I think of Travis Roy, and I'm a little sadder today that one of those isn't with us anymore. The, no matter what you're dealt with, uh, you can still have a powerful impact on people. I think that all comes back to Maine. A Mainer whose legacy began with tragedy, but will last for generations. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine. Dale Arnold, Tom Karen, and those who knew Travis Roy shared personal stories of their friend with New Center, Maine. You will find those and more about Travis's life and lasting legacy on our website and mobile app.